Welcome to Girl Talk. We're here shooting on location today at the Great Danes, their, their Hilldale location. Always a fun place to come to. We're having a great time here. We're going to be talking about Bach Fest, which is new to me. Have you guys, have you ladies heard of this before? I've heard of it a little bit before, just when we've been here previously and about Bach beer. But other than that, it was totally new to me. I, I don't know a ton about beer, so I'm really interested to learn more. Because, I don't know, it's really cool to learn the history of different things. Well, this is a great time to learn about beer because the craft brewing industry is growing at such a rapid pace that I think interest in beer is growing. Yes. And mm -hmm. therefore, there are more and more of these events in the Madison area that are actually fe featuring local brewers. And that's what's so exciting about it is a lot of beers brewed right here. And mm -hmm. literally, right here. Literally here. <laughs> yeah. like, right there. Right in the back. Right now. <laughs> are any of you guys beer drinkers? I enjoy the occasional, but you know, I'm not a connoisseur. Ellen? Same. I, I do like some of the beers here at the Great Dane, and I don't remember what it's called. Wait, is this a paid endorsement? It, <laughs> it is not, I promise you. Because I, typically, I, I'm not a big beer drinker, and they had said, well, let, let me give you this, try this. And it came in this huge glass. <laughs> it was this beautiful kind of honey color. Uh -huh. I don't remember what it's called, but I really liked that one. So huh. that was a pleasant surprise. If it was a paid endorsement, they would have told you what it was called. Right, see, that's the proof. That's your proof right there. Well, Stacey. I have someone in my life who's a big beer drinker who does always tell me that they, in their opinion, the Dane is some of the best beer that they've had. Huh. So, but I always think at all the Dane's locations, I really, really like their food. I always think it's just exceptional and they've got a, quite a variety too. I mean, you can I get love the like variety. Mediterranean, sort of like African, you mm -hmm. can get like Mexican and it's all excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually yeah. ate at one yesterday and had a gigantic salad and I ate the whole thing <laughs> and I'm not sorry. But it's healthy so it's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get away with it then. Yeah, I love it here. We're also talking the Zor Shrine Circus. Oh, that's fun too. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't love a, love a circus? I've been the last two years and it's been a lot of fun and uh, it's quite the event. You know, it is a truly grand event. It, I feel like the circus is sort of an industry that isn't around as much as it used to be. Mm -hmm. And um, Justin and I had the pleasure of actually opening the circus last year oh, by doing cool. an introduction, not like an act. <laughs> I was just we didn't come ask. out on a unicycle <laughs> or a tightrope or anything. Maybe this year? Maybe this year. We're, we're working you on it. You had a practice. So. Yeah. You'll have to go and But of course, out. we stayed and watched the whole thing, and it was stunning. And not only did I enjoy watching it, but I really enjoyed one of our producers' kids was, was there, Ken. And um, I, I was watching his kids watch the circus. Aww. That was the best part because the wide eyes yeah. and it's such a magical thing for kids. I love that. Oh, yeah, it's so sweet. It's fun. Uh, one more guest coming. We have Z Bella Boutique. This is a plus size boutique in Middleton. And we have the Z of Z Bella. Zoe, the owner, is going to be chatting with us and bringing some outfits for plus size women to consider for a night out, love whether it. it's Valentine's or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's up next right after the break. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are at the Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company today in Hilldale, and we'll be chatting with those folks a little bit later about some great events they've got coming up. But first, we've got Zoe Schuler, and she is the owner over at Z Bella Boutique. It's a plus size boutique over in Middleton. Be sure to check it out. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Now, it's that time of year, Valentine's Day is coming up. Maybe you're having a girls' night out. You don't have to have a Valentine or a reason to get dressed up or go shopping. That's Am what I right? we're going with. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You've got some models with today. We've got Katie and we've got Katrina. And let's start off with Katie and let's talk about her look first. So Katie is wearing a look that I think would be great if you can dress a little bit more casual for work and mm -hmm. then you're going out after work. So obviously a cute heart print is appropriate for Valentine's Day. It looks great with denim. It would look great with black pants as well. Her shoes are even from Z-Bella. Oh, and then if you're going out um, at night, I think throw a cool moto leather jacket over it and love it pulls together the look. Yeah, yeah. It makes it a little edgier. We I were, love that jacket. Yeah, we were all gushing over the jacket. <laughs> Not only does it look good, but um, Zoe made sure that we all got to actually feel it, oh. and it just feels like a real pleasure to wear. Yeah. Not and comfortable. Not bulky, not mm -hmm. stiff. That's Real the soft. hard thing about mm -hmm. showing it on TV. It almost it just doesn't do it justice. Like that feel, that material is yeah. just awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, those, those jackets are have become kind of a staple right totally. now. For sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I was gonna say too. Being able to throw something over top of something that you can wear to work. 
I, I just love that because yeah. then you can wear it all day. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What do we got for number two? So Katie's next outfit is using the same pants, oh, same right. shoes, but just a fun um, top with that cold shoulder look that's so hot and then the cute detail in the back. In the back. Oh, yeah. cold shoulder look is hot. <laughs> so <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> it is, but it's I everywhere. But I like the cutouts on that because it's a nice way to add a little bit of just a little bit of sex appeal without it being risque in any way. Yes. Mm -hmm. You got a little bit of skin showing, but it's, it's your Not arm. too much. So yeah. It's cute. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Katie was mentioning the jeans that she's wearing are just ultra comfortable. One thing nice about them is they're a little higher waisted. Um, ladies, we all know if something's a little too low, they tend to kind of roll down and then you're just fussing the whole night or all day or mm -hmm. whatever. So yeah. I feel like that waistline too is probably the most flattering, you know, when you've got it kind of right at that waist part of your yeah, body where you're the smallest, it just feels the most flattering and comfortable too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. hundred percent. Perfect. Next outfit is Katrina, right? Yes. Yeah, so, okay. uh, a basic little black dress. You can't go wrong with it. But no. once again, the cold shoulder detail, yeah, it's going to be everywhere for spring, summer, and even next fall. Oh. We're seeing it everywhere. I love it when you can add interest to a black dress because obviously I'm a fan. And <laughs> I have a few. And there, you know, you need some variety. You can't yeah. have three of the same black dress. So get a little something going. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the fact that, <clears throat> excuse me, you have bling in your shop. Mm -hmm. In fact, what she's wearing is from your store. The right? jewelry is from Z Bella mm -hmm. as well. So, you know, so you, can, you can layer necklaces, you could do one big bold necklace. There's so many things you can do oh. with a black dress like that. Very Love nice. It. So, yeah. What do we got for our last one here? And Katrina's last look is a little bit more casual. Once again, a pull-on denim. Um, this one's a jegging. And the jacket she has on is a faux suede. It is so soft. Oh, I'm um, obsessed. It's amazing. And I think you could wear it now, but you could wear it throughout the summer. It's a great color, a good weight you can layer with it. Mm -hmm. so. There's two things that amaze me about this outfit that I'm so thankful for. The first is that jeggings are still in. <laughs> Thank you. Um, because they're so great and so comfortable and it just makes everything look good, I feel like. But that top, that suede top is so fabulous and soft and interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's nice. really flattering how it kind of brings in the waist. It hits at the perfect spot. Very Absolutely. Nice. Zoe, one thing I noticed on your website was you said something like, you know, if you want some fashion advice, give us a call, email us, we can help. Mm -hmm. And so tell us a little bit more about how yeah, that works. So we're there to help coordinate outfits. If you have your favorite black skirt and you need new tops with it, bring it in or call me. I can make suggestions. I can snap pictures and send them to you, things like that. Oh, and we sweet. help people all the time oh. that way. And you, you've actually looked at these items in your store. You've, you've tried them on, so you know if it runs a little long, a little short. Myself and the staff, we try on everything. We've got our models trying things on, too. It's So we know how they fit. I have a feeling that's not just market research. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm glad you not did. At all. You guys are really the experts. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks so for having me. We appreciate it. And we'll be back more with Girl Talk right after this. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're filming today at the Great Dane at Hilldale. We'll get schooled on Bach beers, an upcoming event called Bach Fest by one of their brewmasters. Kind of looking forward to that. I don't know a lot about that stuff, so I'm excited to learn more. And I bet he'll be excited to, to teach us about it, too. So Perfect. Looking forward to that. But right now we have the pleasure of chatting with Dale Holman. He's the circus chairman for the Zora Shrine Circus. Thanks for joining us today, Dale. Thank you for having me. So you told me that the circus uh, here in Madison has been around for 63 years. Wow. That's really That's amazing. Correct. Yeah. That's correct. It's be the 63rd annual Shrine Circus here in Madison. And this is your first year. This is my first year as the general chairman. Very good. Well, good luck with your first year. Well, thank you. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's learn a little bit more. First off, uh, when is it? When is it? It's February 17th, 18th, and 19th. There'll be six shows. Okay. That's a Friday, That's Saturday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. One show on Friday, three on Saturday, three. and two on Sunday. Okay. You guys are going to be busy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a long weekend. <laughs> and where is the circus? The circus is at the Veterans Memorial, Dane County Coliseum. Okay, perfect. Over by the Alliance. Right, the part of the Alliance Energy Center. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk tickets. How, how, do we, how do we get there? Tickets can be purchased, general admission tickets can be purchased at any of the PDQ stores in the Madison area. And at the Dane County Ticket Office. And you can also get them online. 
Yeah. Okay, so there's no at door tickets. Oh yeah, you can buy. You can do that too. Day of the show, you can buy tickets at the Coliseum. There are general admission and there are reserved seats. Okay, Perfect. great. Awesome. Very good. So we're getting all these logistics out of the way before we talk about the fun <laughs> stuff. So <laughs> just one more um, ticket prices. Ticket prices. The general admission ticket is eighteen dollars, and reserved seats are twenty one dollars. Not much more for the Not much more seats. for the reserves. How are awesome. those seats different? They are centered on the east side of the Coliseum and they're closer to the floor. Ah. And most of the acts are introduced facing that direction. Sure. With Good a, to know. With a, round, with a round building, it's some places got to be the front. Yeah. And some places <laughs> got to be the back. <laughs> so, but they do play in all around, sure. so everybody can see. Perfect. So if you get a good seat, what are the highlights that people can see at the circus? Well, that, that's the fun thing about a family <laughs> circus is there's something for everybody. There's trapeze acts, wow. there's animal acts, there's <laughs> clowns, and there's juggling. Just about something for everybody. It really oh is. And you gosh. know, I was looking a little bit at your website. You go from poodles to ponies to pigs? To yes. pigs. pigs. What do the pigs do? That's, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one because that is a new one we've never had. That's going to be an interesting one it's called the Pork Shop Review. And from everybody I've talked to, they said it's the hit of the show. Oh my Who gosh. knew, right? <laughs> I, I never know. I, I thought I saw one of the names of the pigs was Cousin Grumpy. Is that right, or is that the oh, handler? Oh, so cute. Well, that's what they call the pigs. Each of the pigs have their own names. But <laughs> oh, of course they do. There's a porky, I mean, right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that is so cute. Well, I'm always a little partial to the aerialists. Can you describe a little bit of what to expect there? That's, that's my favorite one myself, the trapeze. Oh. But uh, that's a fun one that uh, just death defying. And then, of course, uh, one of the grand finales is always the cannon shoot. The human cannonball. The human oh, cannonball. Wow. <laughs> we get to have the human cannonball back again this year. And you had something called the Wheel of Destiny. That sounds so mystic. What is that? Well, that's a, that's a high acrobat one where they're walking on the outside of a, of of a, a ring while it's, it's spinning. Oh, and they're goodness. walking around the outside of it as it's going around like a merry-go-round. Oh, wow. These or events are so fun because for kids, you know, you sit there in awe and I can remember being a kid going to the circus and watching these things. But I think what's so cool as an adult, it's still that cool. It's still so cool. <laughs> it's for children of all ages. Oh, I love that. All righty. Well, as he said, something for everyone really at the Czar Shrine yes. Circus. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, February 17th, 18th, and 19th at the Alliant Energy Center in the Coliseum. All righty, well, thank you so much, Dale. Well, thank you for having me. All righty, well, we'll be right back. We're here at Hilldale at the Great Dane. We're going to learn about Bach Fest next. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We have been having ourselves a lovely time over here in Hilldale. If you've been shopping, you can stop in for a bite or a beer and you will not be disappointed. <laughs> so we are excited to be here. We've been having a lovely time. If you're just joining us, Janet promised in the beginning, in the intro segment, that we were going to answer the question about goats. And the man with the plan who's going to do that for us is right here. It's Rob Lobreglio, who is the executive brewer here at the Great Dane Brewing Company. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Marcel, for having us. We've been having a great time. Great. So now this is the shining moment for everyone that's been hanging on with us since the beginning. We're going to talk about that goat and, and why that the history of Bach beer, what is the association with the goat? We see it here on the sign. We've seen it on posters. Yeah, yeah and you see it with most Bach beers all over the world. The interesting thing is, is that the first Bach beers were made in the town of Einbeck in Germany going back to about the 1400, 1400s. Wow. Um, then they started to become more popular and then as they migrated up towards Bavaria, Munich, uh, they would call it Einbeck, but okay. it, referencing the town where it came from. I see. But it slowly morphed into Einbach and mm. ein Bach means a billy goat. Ah, so okay. That in is German? Why now, in German. So that is why Bach beers are associated with goats. So it sounds almost oh, like a mistake, like this word has sort of morphed and then 
taken on a new meaning, of course. Yep, it absolutely the has. It was really just it's supposed to reference the town where it was from. Right. Huh. So now it's just a visual pun on your beer bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of similar to Pilsner's uh, okay. because the Pilsner beer is originally from the town of Pilsen. So people used to say, you know, I'll have a Pilsen, which meant a beer from the town of Pilsen. But huh. now it just means a style of beer. Wow, Interesting. Isn't that something? Okay. So, what makes a Bach beer a Bach beer, other than the the name association? Okay. Well, when we're making beer, the two main flavor components are malted barley, which is a sugar source, and then hops. And right. hops lend a pleasant kind of floral bitterness that balances the sweetness of those sugars. Anyway, the brewers have very specific ways of measuring those sugars. And normal beers start like at 10, 11, 12% sugar. Okay. But for it to be a Bach wow. beer, it has to be at least 16 okay. degrees of sugar. And then if you want it to be a double Bach beer, a double Bach beer is not twice as strong as a Bach beer, but it has two more degrees of sugar. So ah. a Bach beer would start at 16 and a double Bach would start at 18. 18. Interesting. And they're, all, cool. and they're all maltier beers. They okay. tend to be sweeter as opposed to more bitter. This mm. is a great 101 because so many people are interested in this topic right now and I always sort of feel like the one at the table that doesn't know their stuff. Ellen and I are over here both going, ah, at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, so ah. thank you for that. That's wonderful. No problem. Is there a, a time of year that these are typically drunk? Absolutely. Uh, Bach beers and double Bach beers are available in the wintertime. Uh, originally, they were kind of brewed as the sustenance for monks during their Lenten fast. So, you know, yeah, if you're going to not be eating, why not drink an extra strong beer for <laughs> all that time? A few more calories, it sounds like, if it has higher sugars in there. Absolutely. Okay. Very right. cool. Wow, and let's talk a little bit about uh, the different Bach beers specific to the Great Dane here because obviously you've schooled us on a couple of types that are available. What about here specifically? Okay, well, uh, one of the reasons that we started the Bach Fest is because, and I'm more than happy to throw this out there as a challenge, um, I think that the Great Dane makes more Bach beers than any other brewery in the world. Wow. In the world. In the world. Uh, we have well over 15 Bach beers uh, that we offer every single year. We have My Box, Spring Box, uh, regular Bach beers, Double Bach beers, Golden Bach beers. We have Wheat Bach beers. We have Double Bach Wheat beers. Oh my goodness. We have Ice Bach beers. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm impressed that you can just list them that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm forgetting a few. But awesome. yeah. We, uh, you know, we uh, love our Bach beers here. Um, it was actually a specific Bach beer from Germany that made me a brewer. Oh. And so uh, they hold a special place in my heart and I decided that we should have a fest that celebrated them. I love that. We're almost out of time, Rob. Do you want to give a shout out to the, the Bach Fest? Uh, yeah, leave? Bach Fest, uh, Saturday, February 11th at uh, uh, from noon to five, and we're also partnering with The Road Home, which is a phenomenal charity here. Yeah, we do have time to, for you to share about that charity. It's, I want to make sure we get that in because it's a wonderful organization and yes. a big part of mm -hmm. some of the reasons behind Bachfest and, and why you're doing this is to help another cause. So let's talk a little bit about that cause. Yeah, um, The Road Home is the only agency in Dane County that deals solely with homeless families with children. And wow. last year they helped find homes for over 175 families. Oh my goodness. And so we're gonna have a lot of fabulous raffle prizes. Uh, you this, have to share this with us. Uh, this, is one of, this is a uh, limited edition cooler, but that's not even the grand prize. We have two other grand prizes. We have a kegerator, we have a year of free beer. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, where wow. you can get a growler of beer okay. every single week that's for awesome. a year. Um, now the growler is the big one, right? Mm -hmm. The growler is the yes. The, 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 okay. Sorry, the growler is yeah. the 64 ounce, okay. and the growler is the 32 ounce. I didn't know that. <laughs> yep. And uh, and all of the other participating breweries, which I would love to mention briefly, just yes. because they're yes. our partners in this, they're going to be bringing raffle items as well. And all the raffle tickets, all the sorry, all the proceeds from the raffle tickets will go to the road home. That's but so we've got Wisconsin Brewing Company coming. We have Vintage Brewing Company coming. We have Carbon Four coming. We have Lakefront Capital Rockhound. 
we have the Freiburg Gastro Pub and of course the Great Danes. So I'd Love like to thank place. all those breweries as well for oh, participating. And what a great event for mm -hmm. folks to come out and, and get to you know find out a little bit about all these wonderful craft breweries in town. So thank you for sharing all that with us. We have had a lovely time here at the Great Dane and and really just learning about beer. This has been I love eye opening it. for me. I've enjoyed it. So. <laughs> <Anytime>. <laughs> Thanks so much. This is Rob Lobreglio, the executive brewer here at the Great Dane Brewing Company. We thank all of our guests for joining us and of course thank you for watching. Join us next time on Girl Talk.